You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a return engagement. We have a wonderful event to promote. Um, if you love hockey and you love the Boston Bruins and you want to help people, the event is coming up for you, and it's on an unpopular date. It's on the day you pay your taxes, but forget about all that. But go, you won't have to event. pay your taxes until after, until after Monday, because Monday is Marathon Monday, and so you'll right. Get, you we get, get extra to, time in Massachusetts. Time. That's one good thing about yeah, living yeah, here. Right. There's plenty of good things about living here. So, Alex Brzezanson, welcome. Good to see Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Alex, uh, I don't know how you juggle it all. To be perfectly honest with you, I okay. So it because my wife. Okay, yeah, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. let's. Uh, okay, that's a good. That's a good segue. So, Alex is a business owner. You own a, a, a home, like a remodeling mm -hmm. contracting yes. business. You're a selectman for the t town of Abington. Yes. You are running for state representative. Yes. And you do a lot of charity work. And yes. You do a lot of charity work. And I also have another business doing lighting, too. Oh, that's right. I All forgot about that one. Yeah. Okay. I missed that one. But let's talk this particular event. So it's the, Brock, the Boston Bruins alumni versus... The Hug Foundation Ice, Ice huggers. huggers. I love it. Okay. Tell us about it. This will be a sixth year doing this. Um, the Boston Bruins alumni team does about 30 games a year down in the Boston area, um, New England, basically. They do another 20 or so in Canada every year, mm -hmm. and they're all for charities. Um, every game they do is for some charity or some event. So uh, this will be our sixth year doing it uh, for our Hug Foundation. It's our largest fundraiser of the year. Each one of our skaters, each one of the ice huggers are required to raise $1,000 to donate to the Hug Foundation. And uh, we have 14 or 15 players on the team this year. And uh, we'll be playing again at Rockland Ice Rink. Uh, tickets at 10 Tickets are $15 for adults, mm -hmm. children 12 and under uh, 5, and um, I'm sure it'll be sold out as it is most years. This year we have a returning guest, Ray Bork, mm -hmm. coming. Uh, he played two years ago, and he's back again this year, so I'm sure it'll be standing room only. Uh, after the hockey game, we do an after party at the Polish Club in Abington. And that's open to anybody, $20 per person. There'll be raffles, food. Uh, we have a band playing there. And uh, most, uh, if not all, of the Bruins alumni will be coming back there to get to mix and mingle with them for, for $20 and yeah. get to eat. And it's a nice place. And it's I, a great place. I finally got there for your kickoff. Yes. And it was very, very interesting. To, I like how it's set up in there. Yeah. You know, that, that stage area over there. Uh, it, it's just an, it's just a nice venue. My friend Roger Woods purchased it uh, almost two years ago, and he's made some great improvements in there. And it's really, um, really becoming very popular uh, for events now. So, where does all the money go to? What do you do with the money from the Hug Foundation? Well, How do you help people? We started out helping people that needed gas money, food money, mm -hmm. going back and forth to the hospitals for their uh, treatment or, you know, cancer treatment or just whatever, going back and forth to the hospital. When my sister was sick, we realized what it costs to go to the hospital every day between missing work, paying for gas, paying for parking, paying for your food while you're in there, mm -hmm. and then you still have to maintain your home. Mm -hmm. So we started it by donating to people to do that. We've expanded over the years. Uh, we've helped um, several victims of fire, house fires, mm -hmm. um, motorcycle accidents. Um, we've helped out uh, people that have been injured, uh, spinal cord injuries. Mm -hmm. um, we do sponsor a few sports teams now. Uh, so we, we've expanded it uh, beyond our original mission. Now, people talk charities. I always think local charities are the best ones to help because big national charities, a lot of times there's a lot of overhead. Um, we have no overhead. I, I know you don't. That's why I said it. Because people think they give to money. Where does it go? Yeah. Okay. Even, even, even United Way. United Way on a local level, I used to be on the board, does tremendous things. 
back years ago, there was a big scandal with the people that got paid. Some charities take more of the money than they should yeah. to run the charity, but you don't have an overhead. So we don't have an overhead. You get over because you have businesses and community people that sponsor. Well, we do that, but also we use my business phone number for mm -hmm. the phone number for the charity. Yeah. We use my office for the office for the charity, and everyone donates their time. It's mostly uh, Lisa that does a lot of the work. Um, and, um, you know, myself and my son Brian when we do the softball. Um, but we do have volunteers that, you know, sell the tickets and handle the raffles and things for us. Now, if I remember right, there's a, there's a program booklet? There the is event. a program booklet. So are you still looking now, right now? It's, it, we're, yes, we're in March. We have, you, uh, you need people to we have till to... April 1st if someone would like to put an ad in. Okay. And, well, actually, I'll give you a couple of... Maybe we'll get a big sponsor from this. Okay. $5,000 event sponsor. Yeah. You get a listing on our website and our Facebook page. You get 25 tickets to the game, preferred seating, 25 tickets to the after party, banners at both the after party and the game, full page ad, private lunch at your office for up to 30 people with the Bruins alumni. Mm -hmm. Um, player and availability would be determined. You'd, we'd give you an autographed Ray Bork jersey or another member if you'd want it. And a locker room visit between the periods. And two tickets to the Boston Bruins alumni suite for a future Bruins game at the Garden. So that's for a $5,000 corporate sponsor if anyone would like to do that. And then we go down um, $2,500,000 and the program adds uh, full page ads five hundred dollars, half page two fifty, quarter one twenty five, and business card is one hundred. And again, the ticket prices are fifteen dollars for adults for the game. Twelve uh, kids twelve and under are five dollars, and the after party at the Polish Club is twenty dollars. Can't beat that. It's a great night of entertainment if you're a hockey fan, but if you really have a heart and you want to do good. Even if you're not a hockey fan, it's a great night. Oh, well, there you go. And. And you'll get a hug in the process, too, we will, correct? We will, guaranteed. Now, do you have website, Facebook? We do. Tell us about that. Um, our website is hugfoundationma.org. Uh, Facebook is Facebook slash Help Us Give. Mm -hmm. And all our events are always, we use Facebook the most. Most of our events, are, all our events are listed there. And the phone number to reach us is 781-857-2200. Tickets are available at Rockland Rink. Also, there's a link on Facebook on our page that tickets. you can uh, click and buy through Eventbrite. And you said sellout. So how, what's the capacity real quick? If, the capacity know? of the rink's about 600. Okay. And I know it's been crowded in the past. We've Unfortunately, uh, people have had to be turned away because there's no parking. So get your tickets Get early. your tickets soon. Alex, thanks for everything you do. Thank you it's very much. It's a pleasure to help you promote it. And... Uh, will be there, but you have to go. That's so right. one more time, April 15th, Rockland Ice Rink, 599 Summer Street in Rockland. And the time is? It, the game is 1 o'clock. Okay. And the Polish club will be immediately after the game, probably 4, four or 5 o'clock. Okay, so be there or be square. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.